Uh, my training and experience plays into the way that I develop a menu. I'm trained in French and Italian cooking, so there's always going to be that theme running through it. Plus, I tend to cook very feminine, not just because I'm a girl, uh, but I tend to use a lot of herbs. I use salt and pepper. I don't use a lot of spices. And even my earliest mentors said, you know, my job as a chef is to make the food taste better. So in the summer with a tomato, sometimes that's adding salt and pepper. In the winter when it's out of season, I maybe have to manipulate it a little bit more but you should always know you're eating a tomato and so I think that that plays in a lot to how I develop this. When I was growing up this was not a career path. You don't grow up and be a chef. The entire time I was in college I worked at restaurants so that I could pay for my college and I just sat there one day looking around at, at the service floor. It's seven o'clock. It's at the height of the dinner rush and I said how can I work in a restaurant for the rest of my life? And I said, well, you know, I like waiting tables, but that's not really a career path. Maybe if I become a chef, I could just keep doing this forever. And so that's what I did. I went to the Culinary Institute and I became a chef. So I experiment making brownies all day with cassava flour and almond flour and rice flour. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. But, you know, is that really a bad day at the office? Not for me.